Okay. It also comes with some interesting reports. Um, so you get reports by board. Um, and uh, basically with your Kanban board, it comes with a lot of this out of the box stuff here that I'm gonna show you most of in a dashboard, but it also comes with a cumulative flow diagram and a control chart. So the cumulative flow diagram, oops. So the cumulative flow diagram is basically showing you the number of issues per status per day, right? And I can refine this report. So maybe I only wanna see the stuff that was selected for development, it's not in waiting, I can apply that. So it'll adjust it for me. And really what I'm looking for here are bottlenecks, right? It's not gonna tell me why necessarily, but it's gonna tell me what it was. So I'm, there might be one day where, where we have a lot of stuff, a lot more stuff in to do and a lot less stuff in progress and done. And maybe two of our team members were on vacation that day. So it, sh it shows you where things are um, and, and so that you can then go figure out why it is what it is. The control chart, um, it shows you a lot of different data. It's, it's quite busy, actually, in my opinion, and you can select the time frame here. You could select which columns you want to show the data from, as well as which swim lanes and which quick filters. Um, basically, based on the criteria you enter here, it's going to show you the average time that the, um, that the data lived in, you know, data was, was within those statuses. Um, the median, the minimum time, the maximum time, the number of issues, uh, the solid uh, cluster of issues will basically is resembling, is representing a cluster of issues. I can click on it and it'll show me the max average and minimum time as well as the issue navigator link to get to it. Um, the hollow ones are single issues. So it's gonna show you all the information about that individual issue. You get the average in red, the rolling average in blue and the standard deviation. So.